What's up guys? I'm gonna run speed tests on various category cables to see if they can reach up to 10 gigabits per second speeds. So I have my Cat5e, Cat6, Cat6a, six, six Cat7, and Cat8 Ethernet cables. And all of these go up to 300 feet. Well, I'm pretty much gonna run the test at 300 feet, which is right around 91 meters. Now you may have noticed that my Cat5e is a single bundle, but where the rest of these are more than one bundle. So my Cat6 is a 250 plus a 50. And in fact, I have a Cat6 that's a full 300 footer, but I'm gonna try it from a different brand just to see if that would make a difference. My Cat6A is also a 250 plus a 50, so is the Cat7. And my Cat8, I couldn't find a 250 and a 50. Well, the 50 was there, I just couldn't find the 250. So I got three 100s basically. And I try to get them from the same manufacturer as much as possible. So these three are from the same. I couldn't find a Cat6A from them, so I bought it from Cable Matters. But again, links down below, and I will be using these couplers that are all capable of doing up to 10 gigabits per second. Again, links below in the description box. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna kick off open speed test server because we're gonna, on my Windows computer. So, okay, let me explain it real quick. So I have my Windows machine that has a 10 gig card. I'm gonna open up open speed test server. It goes to this IP address, 192.168.1.44 with port 3000. And then I have my Mac, my Mac mini, which you guys see on the screen towards the bottom left is uh, basically that one also has a 10 gig card and both of these are going through a 10 gig switch. So the 10 gig switch is by Netgear. I've reviewed the switch. I'll leave the product links down below in case you guys are interested. Uh, but basically all I'm gonna do, I actually just re-ran this test, but I'm gonna refresh this page. I connected to that IP address and port right here. My Wi-Fi is off as you guys could see right there. And I'm connected with the Cat5e cable and we're gonna kick off the test. Now, typically, the upload speeds are faster than the download speeds, but let's just see the connection we get. Now, the negotiated rate on my switch, because it shows me which LEDs are blinking, it's actually negotiated at a 5 gigabit per second rate, so I know it can't pass 5 gigabits per second. And I've actually ran this Cat5e several, several times, and this is pretty much the best I can do, essentially. So... 4.1 uh, down, a little above 4.1 down, and almost 4.9 up gigabits per second, which is very impressive uh, because this thing is rated, cat 5 is rated for gigabit per second speeds, uh, but I think the rating is for 100 meters. Uh, but I mean, at 91 meters, if we're getting speeds like this, that's actually very, very impressive with low ping and low jitter. Okay, so I just connected the Cat 6, the 50 footer to the 250 footer, making our uh, basically our 300 feet, which is again right around 91 meters. And we're pretty much, the negotiated rate on the switch is a five gigabit per second connection. So I know it's not gonna pass that. And I think CAT6 is rated for 10 gigabits up to, what was it? I think around 55 meters. CAT6A is the one that can go uh, up to 10 gigabits per second at up to 100 meters, I believe. So, okay, so we got slightly slower, but again, if I rerun the test, this, this might go up a little bit higher, might get to like 4.1, but as of now, Cat5v is actually winning Cat6. I connected the Cat6a, uh, which again is a 250 plus a 50, making us 300. And the interesting thing with the Cat6a is right off the bat, it connects very, very quickly at the 10 gigabit per second connection. I could see it on the Netgear switch it connects very quickly. So normally the Cat5e and the Cat6, uh, the Cat5e took about like 45 seconds or so for it to detect. The Cat6 was a little bit faster uh, with this brand, with the Gear IT, uh, but the Cat6a, which is by Cable Matters, this thing connected right away. It, it was almost as fast as connecting like a three foot cable. Um, so within a few seconds, it was connected, negotiated the 10 gigabit rate, and we got the full speed. So Cat 6A at 91 meters, uh, we're pretty much getting our roughly right around our 10 gigabit speeds, which is what you would expect. So Cat 6A is golden. I am running all of these cables coiled up, and uh, Cat 7, while it did connect faster than the Cat 6, uh, not as fast as the Cat 6A, it did negotiate at a five gigabit per second connection. Now the Cat 7, uh, I don't think is an IEEE certified standard. So what I'm gonna do with the Cat 7 is I'm going to uncoil it to see if that actually makes a difference. 
Uh, with the Calf IV, I've previously uncoiled it and it, it doesn't go above five. Cat 6 uncoiled goes up to 5 from my previous test that I've ran. Uh, Cat 6A coiled up gets to 10, so I don't even need to uncoil it. Cat 7, I'm going to uncoil just to see if that actually makes a difference. All right, so before I uncoil the Cat 7, I just connected the Cat 8. The Cat 8 is also coiled, so I'm going to click Start. And on my switch, it's actually still a 5 gigabit per second connection. That's negotiated rate. So I'm also going to uncoil the CAT8 to see if that actually makes a difference. So again, coiled, we're getting uh, 4.1 and um, we're getting about 4.9. So just from this test, just from the coil test alone, CAT6A is the best cable. Now it also happens to be that CAT6A is by Cable Matters. So I don't know if that makes a difference. So I, I uncoiled the CAT7 cable. I tried connecting, disconnecting several times. It just won't connect more. Uh, it won't negotiate more than a five gigabit per second connection. So only the left green light is on. And uh, so it's all uncoiled. This is the short one is the 50 footer that's connected right there. And then the long one is the 250 footer. And I pretty much just took it all here and stuff as you guys could see. So um, all uncoiled and uh, doesn't make a difference uh, coiled or not. Now the other thing worth noting is I disconnected the 50 and I connected the 250 straight. Whether it's coiled or not makes no difference. It connects right away and it does get to those pretty much those 10 gigabit speeds. So just about the 9.7, 9.8. So it has no issue getting to those speeds. So as long as I'm not adding a, another 50 foot to it. So which makes me wonder if that's the reason why they don't sell cables longer than 250 feet because it does get to their advertised rates. So there's that. All right, so I've uncoiled the CAT8 Ethernet cable and it's the same thing. It's basically stuck at the five gigs. It won't exceed the five gigs. I've uncoiled all three of them. So as you guys could see. So goes here, connects there, goes to the next one. And pretty much we're getting like five gig speeds. So in a nutshell, it looks like CAT 6A, which is the one that is IEEE certified, happens to be the best cable. So I removed one of the 100 foot CAT 8 cables. So now that we're down to 200 foot CAT 8, which is around, what is that, 61, 62 meters, something like that. And it does get to those, just about those full 10 gig speeds, connects right away. So what I've personally learned from this video, I was a little bit, I'm actually a little bit surprised because I was, I was thinking the Cat 7 and the Cat 8 would keep up with the Cat 6A. And uh, it looks like the Cat 6A took the cake really. And, uh, but again, these are for those, really those extreme lengths um, at like 300 feet because even at 250 feet the cat 7 does reach those almost 10 gigabit speeds the 200 footer on the cat 8 also does i don't have a 50 foot cat 8 cable uh, i imagine that would also reach it but it looks like yeah at the 300 foot mark only the cat 6a can get there so if you need shorter cables the other categories depending on how short it needs you need it the other categories might be fine for you but it looks like cat 6a is is the king so if you guys enjoyed this video, smash the subscribe button. If you guys have questions, comments, anything like that, leave it in the comment sections below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.